Settle down, settle down. I know what you guys are thinking. Ray, you've done so many of these videos in the past. And yes, I have, but hear me out. There are a significant number of you guys who want to see an updated buying guide for the 2DS, for the new 2DS XL, for the 3DS. And we are at the end of the line for these consoles. We're moving into the world of the Switch and probably the Switch Mini. So this is most likely going to be the last 2DS slash 3DS specific buying guide from me. And I'm going to move on to other projects. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, get excited, and for the last Last time ever, let's get this going. What is up my friends, it's Ray back here. Welcome to my ultimate guide to buying a Nintendo 2DS or 3DS in 2019. Get so very hyped. Now my previous video, I discussed how Nintendo announced during a recent briefing that they have nothing new to announce for the 3DS lineup. This translates to there's no new first party Nintendo games in the works for the system. That is as good a confirmation as ever that the end is very near. With a Switch Mini or something similar most likely to replace it, that doesn't mean Mean that the 2DS or the 3DS is not worth buying this year. The 3DS is easily one of the best consoles that was ever made and I'm always going to recommend buying one to revisit the incredible games that it has in its library. From a business standpoint, it makes a lot of sense for Nintendo to move on. For us, nothing really changes aside from the fact that there's going to be no new games coming out and that's not really an issue because there are literally thousands already out there for us and that's not even counting the original Nintendo DS games that it can play and the virtual console games on the eShop like it is totally worth buying a 2DS or a 3DS this year even if they are like nearly eight years old that's like an eternity in the tech world but I'm gonna save my favorite games list for a future video so with that said let me help you pick the right one okay guys so here we are different time different place just a few feet away from where I was just filming so not too far but we have the 2DS the new 2DS XL and the new 3DS XL in spirit I don't have a new 3DS XL for this video but it is here in spirit let's just imagine it's here so the the 2DS here. It's the cheapest in the lineup. It is 80 bucks. I will talk about this thing until I am dead. It is a steal of a deal. For $79.99, technically $80, you are getting a console and a game. A brand new console and a game for 80 bucks. Like, a Switch game costs 60 bucks by itself. You're getting a console and a game here, and that is like an absolute steal. I think that's honestly the best deal that you can get in gaming. I'll talk about it until I'm blue in the face because I will recommend it for like forever. Even if it goes off sale very soon, the 2DS is always going to be a steal for what you get. It does feel a little outdated. The hardware it is a little slow compared to the new 2DS XL and the new 3DS XL, but this thing here, guys, I, I just can't say enough good things about it. It is really an awesome handheld. Some accessories that that I would recommend are the official Nintendo case, which is perfect. It holds three game cards. It just slides right in over here. Kaboom, you got yourself a nice case, which you can just toss this thing in a bag or whatever you want to do with it. And the PDP gel guard. This is a case over here that everybody like always freaks out about. Like this is like the perfect case for the 2DS. It feels great. It looks great. And honestly, it makes that Game Boy like it makes that Game Boy like form factor right there. Let's fix that up a little bit. It makes it feel a lot better, especially if you're like on the go and stuff like that. It doesn't feel like it's gonna slip out of your hands or anything. Um, so this is just a silicone case and a Pikmin sticker here, which I added on from uh, Nintendo, and it works perfect. So it's a nice little combo over here and just slide it right in and kaboom this whole thing probably with the console the game the uh, gel guard and the case maybe will run you about 120 bucks in total so that's really not a bad deal still you're getting like a nice console with a case and uh, you know uh, here we have the new 2ds xl this thing over here is a step up from the original 2ds and this thing is a lot faster i like I, this is my new go-to console i used to use this one all the time but now i use this one because it just feels it feels a lot more modern for 2019. It feels more snappier. It's faster at loading the eShop. It's faster at doing most things, including loading games. But like I said, this thing, it all depends really how much you want to spend. You want to spend $149, spend 80 bucks, you know, whatever you want to spend. That really all comes up to you. And uh, what well, some accessories I would recommend for this thing are the Amfilm tempered glass screen protectors, which I have on over here. These are great. These are the same brand that actually I use on my Switch and they just install install flawlessly on your console. F Young, I believe these are F Young clear hard shell case. These are on Amazon as well. These just like snap, ugh, snap right on top of your console. Just pop it right back on. 
and kaboom you got some nice protection for your system over here looking nice and then we have the R orsley orsley i believe it's pronounced orsley hard shell case this is another great case like similar to this one this is like the perfect case for the 2ds this is the perfect case that i found for the new 2ds xl it holds many many game cards over here i don't have them all in here at the moment but it holds many over here you just slide your console right in and kaboom you got yourself a nice little compact minimal hard shell case for your new 2ds xl and these pigment stickers are similar to what i put on my 2ds and i installed them on here there i got them from nintendo i believe when pigment 3 uh, came out so let's pop this out over here another cool accessory is actually the f young f young makes some great accessories by the way and they're mostly under 10 bucks <laughs> so if you're looking for some awesome accessories they are under 10 dollars let's try and pop this off again if i can get this off there we go boom making everybody all nervous there we go pop that off and just snap it into this and this here is actually a controller grip so if you find yourself getting cramps playing on like the 2ds xl you can actually install a nice little controller grip and have a little more grip for your hands when you're playing and it's really nice especially when you're using like the circle pad over here you get a lot more movement a lot more range a lot more accuracy and i think that's great you know more longer longer play sessions for, for whatever you want and you got a nice little kickstand to display your console when it's not in use so that is a hundred and forty nine dollars this one is eighty dollars and the new 3ds xl is a hundred and ninety nine dollars so that is the most expensive one it still has the 3d screens it still has better build quality this is plastic this one's plastic that one is more solid i'm not um it's more it's more solid plastic and um it is definitely the most premium of the bunch but would I recommend it? I don't know. Honestly, these ones have the better design. The new 2DS XL have the much better designs. Uh, the past 3DS XLs had really nice designs. There was a Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask one. There are a few other ones out there as well. But uh, the new 3DS XL is kind of expensive. It's kind of getting into like Switch territory. So if you have that kind of money, if you want to spend like 200 bucks on that new 3DS XL, I would probably just recommend saving up more and just getting the Switch. I mean, like the Switch is arguably the way to go now at this point. But if you're looking for like one of these consoles if you still want to stick to the 3ds line the 2ds for 80 bucks is a steal and the new 2ds xl for 149 dollars is also a steal because you're getting a faster more modern console and this is actually the most recent launch from nintendo which came out in 2017 so that's really not a bad like thing it's only about a little less than two years old so that's great if you want to go that route so if you guys are interested in these products or more head on over to my amazon storefront where i consistently update my custom list that feature things that i use and just absolutely love that includes the 2ds or the 3ds if you purchase things through those links a small portion of the purchase actually goes to support me and my channel with no extra cost to you it's just really cool and it's a total win-win with that being said let me know in the comments box down below which model of the 2ds or 3ds is your favorite do you like the cheaper 2ds do you like the new 2ds xl the new 3ds xl the original 3ds let me know in the comments box down below if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel and until the next video i'll catch you guys later peace